also fan TV, very, very disappointing today. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, we were, you know, we can we can say um, that it was should never have been a penalty. Is what I'm hearing. I haven't seen it back. We can say that Troy Deeney was offside. Is what um, DT was saying. But even so, very disappointing display away from home again by Arsenal. At the end of the day, you have to say we wasn't good enough. You know, what for fans, they're here, they're singing, and fair play to them, they deserve to sing. They beat us fair and square, they were the better team, we were poor again. How many times are we going to come to these places and get embarrassed and left with egg on our face? When's it going to change? When's it going to stop? I don't know, I, 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 I'm lost for words. I can't believe that, you know, we were one up for so long. Ozil has to do better with that. I don't want to, you know, demonise him, slate him, because I do love the guy, I think he's a quality player. But he's got to score them. If he's the money, those kind of ways. See, the thing is, right? Like some people are laying into Özil, and people are saying, "Well, why?" What? But the thing is, he's demanding contracts. He's demanding big money. Now, if you're demanding that, you get a chance like that. I mean, if my son missed a chance like that, I'd be upset. Let alone Mesut Özil. I mean, that's exactly right. You know, if he scores that, two and nil, game's done. Un undeservedly so, you would have to say. But. In the end of the day, like it's it's not new. It's not new, is it, Rob? Like you know, we come to these places. Last season, Watford at home lost lost it. You know, Stoke Stoke away this season lost it again. You know, okay, cool. We so won a game away from home this season. Exactly, that's the same point. You know, eight games in, not not um not an away win to our name. Is that really the form of a title winning team? You have to say, if you're honest with yourself, it's not. It's really not. If we're gonna you know challenge for a title, which I don't think we'll do this season, I think. As much as I've defended Wenger over the, the years, I think he's got to go now. I think mean, it's time's up, you know. The team selection was wrong today, you know. I was, I was really livid the fact that, you know, it was 1-1. But when I saw Rob Holding coming on, you know, why is he trying to do the three at the back when, you know, we're, we're drawing at a place where we should be winning? He should have gone four at the back, brought Wilshire on, mm. a little bit of creativity in the midfield. Should have never taken Lacazette off. And I don't know why Sanchez isn't playing, you know, OK, he might be hurt from the, from the World Cup. But as you said, same with Ozil, you've got to say the same with Sanchez. These, these massive wages, deal with it. You know, you're, you're paid to come here, you're paid to play football. That You can't really be saying, oh, oh I'm hurt, I can't, like, I can't play because we, we're at the World Cup. Deal with it, you're a professional mm. player. Get on the pitch, do your job. If even if you don't want to be there, they can go. If they don't want to be here, sell them in January. I, 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 I love them both, but, you know, you hear this talk of Arsenal FC or Arsenal FC, Arsenal FC or Alexis FC, Arsenal FC all the way. No one is bigger than the club. Yeah, mm. Like, you know, we, we criticise Ozil and I thought we got to criticise Sanchez as well, you know. Like, OK, he's a quality player. I, be, I, be, I think he's a quality player as well. Don't get me wrong. But there's times where I see him and I feel like, what, like you're not playing for the club, you know. You're, not, you're trying to do your own thing. If he wanted to go so bad, first off in the transfer window, why did we wait so long to like, let him go? Why was he going to send him last minute? Why didn't we buy a centre-back in the transfer window? I thought Emmett Laporte from Athletic Bilbao would have been perfect. You know, he's a left-footed centre-back tall and you know, he works well with another fast centre-back. Who do we have there? Koscielny. Him, him in the middle. That could have really worked well, that three at the back. Piotr, Piotr Zielinski could have really replaced Cazorla in that you know, box-to-box role from Piotr Zielinski from Napoli. Quality. Why are we not going in for these players? Why, why are we making one signing, going into the season unprepared? What else is going to happen? You're always going to come to these places, you know, get embarrassed, left egg on your face. And in the end of the day, you know, we might get a couple of victories towards the end of the season. Maybe, if we're lucky, get top four. And then same process all over again. Honestly, I'm sick of it, Robbie. I'm sick mm. of it.